Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mamta Jawa, your Microbiology faculty, and I welcome you all to yet another episode of Micro Shorts. So, guys, in today's episode, I'm going to talk about three important antibiotics, which we call as differentiating antibiotics, and filter paper discs of these differentiating antibiotics are used in the microbiology lab to differentiate important pathogens from one another. So, let's start. The very first such differentiating antibiotic is novobiosin. Now guys, novobiosin's mechanism of action is same as that of quinolones. That is, it inhibits the enzyme DNA guidance. Alright, and what do we use this antibiotic for in the lab? We use this antibiotic in the lab to differentiate between two important species of genus Staphylococcus, which we know, which we know as CONS that is coagulase negative staphylococci. Alright, so two important species which belong to the category of cons that is coagulase negative staphylococci are Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Right now, as far as novobison is concerned, Staphylococcus epidermidis is sensitive to the action of novobiosin that is it is afraid of novobiosin so it is not going to grow near the antibiotic disc of novobiosin. Saprophyticus on the other hand is absolutely fearless as you can see in the picture it grows right up to the disc all right so for remembering the action of novobiosin on these two organisms remember no stress where no stands for novobiosin S stands for saprophyticus, R stands for resistant, E stands for epidermidis and S stands for sensitive. Alright, so that's about novobiosin. The second antibiotic guys is bacitracin which is bactericidal and acts by inhibiting peptidoglycan during the second phase of bacterial cell wall synthesis and it achieves this goal by inhibiting an important enzyme called as phosphorylase. Alright. Now, bacitracin is a very very important antibiotic which comes to our rescue when we want to differentiate group A streptococcus which is the A1 uh, or the number one villain in the entire family, uh, entire uh, you know uh, genus streptococcus as far as virulence is concerned. So group A streptococcus is the A1 villain that is streptococcus pyogenes it needs to be differentiated from other beta hemolytic streptococci and this can be easily done by bacitracin disc all right so as you can see in the figure group a streptococcus is afraid of bacitracin it is not going to grow near the bacitracin disc on the other hand other beta hemolytic streptococci for instance group b streptococcus that is streptococcus agalexiae and other groups also they are unafraid of bacitracin they are fearless they are going to grow right up to the bacitracin disc and to easily remember this action just remember a brass vessel a brass with a double b where first b stands for bacitracin Second B stands for group B streptococci and other beta hemolytic streptococci. A stands for group A streptococcus that is the A1 pathogen or the A1 villain that is streptopyogenes and S stands for sensitive. And the third and final antibiotic for today's video is optochin. Alright, now optochin is an antibiotic which acts by inhibiting the enzyme ATPase and it inhibits the formation of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate in microorganisms. Now optogen comes to our rescue when we encounter some you know alpha hemolysis on blood agar and we are uh, suspicious of uh, whether it is viridin streptococci or it is pneumococcus. Of course we have got other things also to differentiate like simple uh, you know gram stain, colony morphology, alright inulin fermentation, and other tests also along with all these this battery of tests a very important test which can be done and can be done very easily is the optogen test optogen sensitivity test all right so as far as uh, these two important alpha hemolytic organisms are concerned that is viridin streptococci and pneumococcus viridin streptococci is resistant to optogen whereas pneumococcus is sensitive all right please remember 
even though both are pathogenic viridans as well as pneumococcus pneumococcus is a significantly more you know it, it is a more significant pathogen than the viridan streptococci and the action of optogen on these two alpha hemolytic organisms can be easily remembered by remembering vr cops as you can see in the figure next to me v stands for viridans r stands for uh, resistant ignore c o stands for optogen p stands for pneumococcus and s stands for sensitive so guys uh, this is about the three uh, differentiating antibiotic discs which we use in the microbiology lab i hope you found this video useful if you like this format of the video please let me know in the comment section please support my work subscribe to the channel smash the bell icon for notifications for my future videos and guys if you want to understand the basis behind differentiating different uh, kinds of beta hemolytic streptococci please check out my post on the same which i did a few days back on my instagram handle i shall share the link of the post below in the description of this video thank you for watching please share this video with your friends seniors juniors happy studying god bless